Hi, in our last video, I raised a question that how many sets can be made out of a given set? So we'll be trying to find an answer for that question in this video. So what is a subset? Let's first revise the definition of subset. A is called a subset of set B if all the elements of set A are there in set B, right? So if we have a set A, which has suppose two elements, one and two, and we have a set B which has 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. It has 5 elements. Then set A will be called a subset of set B and it will be called a proper subset because these two elements are there in set B and apart from these two elements we have these three more elements which are not there in set A. So A is called a subset of B because all the elements of set A are there in set B, right? And we also discussed that phi is a subset of all the possible sets, right? Phi is a subset of A and phi is also a subset of B. And we have also discussed that every set is a subset of the set itself, right? That means A is a subset of the set A itself and B is also a subset of set B itself. Right? So, if we try to find all the possible subsets of a set, we will definitely have these two sets. One we will have phi and that set itself will also be there as one of the subsets. Right? And in this video, we are going to concentrate on how many subsets are possible for any given set. So, suppose if I take set A, how many subsets are possible out of set A? One will be phi that is null set. Second will be the set A itself. That means the set containing elements 1 and 2. And then there will be few more sets which will have only one element. One will have one and another set can have two. All these sets, there are four sets which are actually the subsets of set A. But this was a small set with only two elements. So we could find all the possible sets or we can find that there are total four subsets possible out of set A. But if we take set B, how many subsets are possible from set B? I just want the number. Yes, there is a formula. We'll reach to that formula after discussing the logic behind that formula, right? Let's have a set A which has suppose 1, 2, 3 or 4. For each of these elements, there are two possibilities. They can be there in the subset or they may not appear in that particular subset. So if I take one, for one we have two possibilities. It can be there or it is not there. And then we have two. For if one is there, then two can be there or cannot be there. So if two is over there, let me write yes. And if two is not there, let me write n for no right and if one is not there then also there are two possibilities for this two it can be there or it cannot be there right why it is present in that particular subset and n for it is not present in that particular subset then for each of these possibilities there are two possibilities for three right so this three can be there or this three is not there this 3 can be there or it is not there, right? So these are the possibilities of 3 and then for each of these nodes we will again have two possibilities for 4, right? So I am writing 4 in all these nodes and the two possibilities for 4, 4 is there, 4 is not there, it is there or it is not there, right? And in all these nodes, we are actually going to get one one subset for the set A. If I write down all the elements which are there in this subset, so I will backtrace this line. This is line 4 is there, so 4 will be one of the elements. Then 3 is there, so 3 will be one of the elements. Then 2 is there, 2 will be one of the elements. Then we have 1 is also there so one will also be one of the elements of this subset right but if I talk about this node this says no for 4 so 4 will not be there but this comes from this line which says y for 3 so 3 will be there and 
this comes from this line which says 2 is there and this is connected to 1 with this line which says 1 is there. So it will also be a subset of A. Right? Similarly, if I talk about this point, this has 4 because it comes from 4 with a Y. So 4 will be there. Right? And it is connected to 3 with this line which says N or no for 3. So 3 will not be there. But it comes from here which says yes for 2. So 2 will be there. And this is connected by this line to 1. So 1 will also be there. And now if I talk about this point, this has no for 4, that means 4 is not there. No for 3, that means 3 is not there. But y for 2, that means 2 is there. And y for 1, that means 1 is there. Similarly, this point actually represents a set which has 4, 3, 2 is not there, but 1 is there. And in this set, we won't have 4, but we'll have 3. We won't have 2, but we'll have 1. Right? And if we talk about this point, this says y for 4, that means 4 is there. n for 3, that means 3 is not there. n for 2, that means 2 is not there. But y for 1, that means 1 is there. Right? And similarly, if I talk about this point, this says no for 4, that means 4 is not there. No for 3, that means 3 is not there. No for 2, that means 2 is not there. But y for 1, that means only 1 is here. And if I talk about this point, this point represents a set which says y for 4, that means 4 is there. Then y for 3, that means 3 is there. And y for 2, that means 2 is also there but n for 1 that means 1 is not there and this point represents n for 4 y for 3 that means 3 is there and a y for 2 that means 2 is there and n for 1 similarly this point represents y for 4 that means 4 is there n for 3 3 is not there y for 2 that means 2 is there and n for 1 that means 1 is not there right and this point represents n for 4, n for 3 and a y for 2 that means 2 is there and n for 1 right and this point represents y for 4, y for 3, n for 2 and n for 1 and here we have n for 4 but y for 3, n for 2 and n for 1 and this point has y for 4 n for 3, n for 2 and n for 1 and this point has n for 4, n for 3, n for 2 and n for 1. So this point actually represents a null set, right? So if you see properly all these subsets, all these subsets have different set of elements. So in this way there are total 16 sets possible. There are 16 possible sets if there are four elements in the parent subset. So the total number of subsets possible are actually 2 to the power n where this n is actually the cardinal number of set A. 2 to the power 4 is equal to 16, right? So if the cardinal number of a set is 10, the total possible subsets of that set will be 2 to the power 10. Right? That will be equal to 1, 0, 2, 4. For each element, there are only two possibilities. One, it can be present in the subset or it is not present in the subset, right? So for each element, you have two possibilities. And if you have n elements, there can be 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 2 n times possibilities. And that finally give you 2 to the power n as the total number of possibilities. For one element, you have two possibilities. For second, element again you have two possibilities so that will be associated with possibilities of first element and then you will get four subsets suppose if you have only two elements one and two then here you are getting actually four subsets right and if you have three elements then here you are actually getting eight subsets this is one two three four five six seven and eight there are eight subsets possible if you have three elements right so this is the explanation for 
the number of possible subsets of a given set right for each element I have said whether it can be present or it cannot be present I have made a top-down tree and then I have listed all the elements which are possible in that subset right but if you know combinations and binomial theorem this actually can be derived from binomial theorem directly how can you do it if n is equal to the cardinal number of set A that means there are n elements in set A right and then if you try to find all the possible subsets having zero elements it can be written as n c 0 right and all the possible subsets of set A have only one element will be n c 1 and all the possible subsets of set A having two elements will be n c 2 and n c 3 this will continue till you include all the elements of the set into the subset right and then if you add all of them you will get all the possible subsets of the set and what is this all these combinations are actually the coefficients of binomial theorem and this actually represents 1 plus 1 whole to the power n and from here we get the formula 2 to the power n which represents all the possible subsets of a given set with cardinality n right this can be remembered by people who know higher maths who know combinations who know binomial theorem I have explained it using two methods follow whichever method is easier for you keep watching MathSmart and bye bye